Bomb C3 in South Lebanon. How Hezbollah upgraded its anti-armor capabilities with North Korean assistance. One of the Lebanese militia Hezbollah's most prolific and unexpected military successes in its 2006 war with Israel was the heavy toll it took on Israeli armor with heavily protected Israeli Macabre in the latest Macabre battle tanks previously considered all but invulnerable, but on the front lines taking serious damage with several from each class destroyed. An exchange of fire between Hezbollah and Israeli forces in the first week of September 2019, in which a single Israeli tank was reportedly targeted and successfully neutralized, has again highlighted the importance of the race between the former's anti-armor and the latter's armored capabilities. Hezbollah's foremost anti-armor weapon in the 2006 conflict was the Russian IM-133 Cornet missile, and the munitions success was considered a major victory for the new weapons system against armor which was considered to exceed that of the NATO alliance in its survivability and sophistication. Hezbollah reportedly did not acquire the Cornet directly, but rather through Syria. And after the war Israel sought to press Moscow, to place greater restrictions on the exports of these systems, to deny Hezbollah the ability to replenish its arsenal or access to more advanced antique 